Great going, Stephanie. You see it there? Mm -hmm. That was way, that was your best. So it needs to hinge, right? We need some of this in there. So we're gonna move this hand over a little bit more. And this one, this way, yeah. So I'm looking to do that. And when I hinge you up here, just, uh, you can stand yourself up. Yeah, just push your arms out away from you. Exactly. So there's like a 90 degree angle from your arm to the shaft. Okay? Yep. All right. <laughs> you can see I went, this is an MIT move. <laughs> so there's zero degrees and there's 90 got it and then we turn over here and there's your back swing if it goes the way we want it to go a lot of times you don't have this hinged 90 degrees you have it hinged about halfway there yeah, I kind of felt that. yeah so but it's part of the grip too I mean it's something to do with your grip and just knowing that you need to do it yeah very good there that's awesome money there's nothing that can go wrong with this one. <laughs> so take it up and stop. There you go. I'm going to prop it up and keep this a little more over your shoulder. So shoulders there, hands are in line with the shoulder, okay? Okay. Okay. Sometimes you're low and way back there with your hands. I just want them right there. Okay. Shoulder. Yep. Okay. Swing it back. In line with the right shoulder. Stop. Go. Go. Very good. Yep. All right, killer. Add a girl. So there's this thing called vertical hinging, right? And I did it with you in the very beginning. I'm just going to show you so you can see what it looks like. Okay. So the vertical hinging is just this thing I did, like this. So I, you, I had you. I was here, and you just took it straight up with this grip. And right now, my my wrists are hinged. I can put my arms out there, and now this the wrists are the same. You can see that 90 degree angle. Okay. My wrist joints are equally bent this way when I vertically hinge. Okay, yours are not. And so that might be easy for you to feel. Or at least take a look. You know, you kind of go, okay, right shoulder, then what? Well, I'd say pull your head back and kind of look around. And go, okay, let's just give these numbers. That wrist bent at 15 degrees, this wrist at 15 degrees, got it. So they're equal. It's like a tomahawk or an axe or something here, so you don't want it to tilt this way. So slowly, and turn your head back there as you go. Slow, 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 stop there, yeah. This elbow, go back more and more, up, 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 yep. Keep coming, yep, 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 yeah. So that elbow's kind of in line with your body a little bit more. Great. Yeah, yeah, what does it feel like? A little strange, I'm sure, but you, don't you feel like everything's higher? Mm -hmm. Like above you, not behind you? Yeah. Yeah. Up, 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 upstairs, let's go. Take her up, yep. Wow. Come on up on the mirror. Please, please miss me. Thank you. So look over here. Can you see that this end there is pointing down more to your feet or mm -hmm. the ground here? Mm -hmm. That's what you want too. You want to check that. That's vertical to the ground. Vertical hinging. We talked about that. That wrist and this wrist look like they're equally bent. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's a nice little spot check. If this thing is pointed over here, we're not going to be in the zone we want to be. Yeah. Ooh, very nice. Got it? So when you start to feel the club head is still in front of your body going up, you're doing business. You're doing good. If your club head zips behind you right away, we're going to maybe not hinge up. So some players like the feeling of just kind of cocking it up in front of the body. Yeah, you're very easy to move right here. I just think you're down with what's happening now, you know? Okay, leave it right there, Steph. You got it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is called club heads in front of your hands here at this. Behind your hands would be that way in golf. Okay? Yeah. Please hit a ball like that. That is freaking... That's it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got it. Thank you.
Okay. This is working. Good girl. Uh, as you, yeah, watch me, and I'm going like this, it's the old swing. Bowed over, kind of whipping around, and then we got into vertical hinging, just feeling this, right? And then if I take the vertical hinging from here, and I just turn it around this way, kind of walk around and stand in my shadow there, so you can see this part. Yeah, got it? So then if I take it from here and I just let this point to the target and actually glance back and look at my shadow back there, look at the club head back there behind you. See it? Yeah. Okay, keep looking back there. So I'm gonna go up to the vertical hinging there and then I just kind of let it go to the target. Now you can look back here and watch me here. Just, I move the hands very little and just kind of set between my arms. That's what you're learning. It's not complicated, it's just really new, you know? So this stuff about the wrists, you know, you just want to see vertical. So it's definitely more feeling of a Ferris wheel shape swing. Hey everybody, what's happening? It's Gormanator here. I just want to let you know that I'm doing live Zoom lessons. The next best thing to an in-person lesson, a live Zoom. So you want to kick that slice to the curb, hop in, and let's get going. I've got my launch monitor and the tools I need. If you're at the office, work, wherever, we can get it done. Click the link down below, hit the page. It'll tell you all about the lesson and how it works. You'll be excited to get it done because I'll take care of you. See you guys on the next video.